Hello, and welcome to my channel. So in case you missed the intro video, on this channel I'll be doing builds based on periods of history or civilizations in history that I like. I won't be copying real monuments or cities block for block into Minecraft. I'll be putting my own spin on things, so my builds won't always be 100% historically accurate. I think villagers can make builds feel more alive, so expect to see a lot of fancy villages, towns, or anything else cool I can throw villagers into. I'll try to stick to doing historical builds chronologically, or based on periods of history and order, but expect to see builds that veer off from the main series every once in a while. For my first build, I'm building a Mesopotamian city-state based off of real city-states like Ur and Uruk. I'm mostly using architectural influences from as far back as the Samaran period in 6000 BCE up until the Neo-Assyrian period in 911 BCE. However, I'll also be using some influences from up until the Achaemenid Persian conquest of the region around 539 BCE. I thought Mesopotamia was a good place to start, because it's essentially the start of civilized history, and I've always wanted to do a build in a desert or savanna biome. Additionally, because I'm only building a city-state, the build won't be too large for my first video. If you're interested, I hope you'll stick around and check out the rest of this video. Remember. This video is part of a series, so if by the time you're watching this I've released another video, be sure to check that out when you're done watching this one. Anyway, the following is a montage of me starting to build a Mesopotamian city-state by storing off the walls, along with commentary on the process of the build and my research on this period in history. When you think of ancient Mesopotamia, you might think of dry, arid deserts with the only sources of water being the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. However, in reality, this picture of ancient Mesopotamia isn't entirely correct. Although Mesopotamia did have dry deserts at the time, there were more habitable places that people settled in. In my research, areas of ancient Mesopotamia could reach temperatures around 110 degrees Fahrenheit, but also had a wet season. Personally, I don't think the words desert and wet season went together very well. So for a more accurate depiction of the climate of ancient Mesopotamia, I decided to build my city-state in the only other dry biome of Minecraft, the savanna. I realized my choice of the Minecraft savanna biome isn't 100% accurate since ancient Mesopotamia often experienced a shortage of lumber and there are plenty of trees around in the savanna biomes, but I felt it was more accurate than the desert biome at least. I chose a Minecraft seed with most biomes relatively near to spawn, so that I could do a variety of builds in separate biomes in the future. The savanna biome I ended up finding for the build was large, but also mountainous. I eventually found a good spot in clearing with a river tracing the bottom left sides, but in order to make enough room for the city, I did a bit of terraforming off camera using command blocks. When you think of walls, you might think of walls of stone or brick and mortar. However, most of the structures in ancient Mesopotamia were built out of mud brick or plaster with reeds, and the walls of the typical Mesopotamian city-state were no exception. You can see me using terracotta to create a more detailed outline for the walls. However, I will later switch to red sandstone bricks, which better match the texture of real mud brick. As you can see in this image of the finished outline, 
I have marked a few sections of the city with pillars. The pillars of lapis lazuli, located here, here, and here, mark the path of the canal that runs through the city as well as the harbor. The pillar of coal, located here, marks the lower city where the farmers and craftsmen live. And the gold pillar, here, marks the upper city where the nobility live and where the palace is located. In this next part of the build, I'm just removing all the framework cobblestone. While researching for this build, I learned that entrances to the Mesopotamian city-states were double-gated, but I wasn't sure if that meant the gate had two doors or if it had two gates. So for now, I just made the gate archway. I'll come back to that later. I thought about adding towers to the walls, however, a few artist representations of Ur did not show the walls having towers. Even if I did add towers, the villagers wouldn't be able to use them or climb them, so I decided not to add them. However, I did decide to add crenellations or battlements to the walls. I took inspiration from artist representations showing the walls of the cities having triangle-shaped battlements.
Anyways, that's all for now. Next episode, I'll be continuing on the walls and building the canal, moat, and port of the city. Please consider leaving a like and subscribing.